Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today's little segment of the video is going to be me unboxing, unbagging my new mouse. I actually got a new mouse because I'll show you the other one that I've been using, but it is so frustrating because the little roller ball thing is just like, the ball like gets stuck. I know that sounds really funny, but Anyway, so I got the new mouse because I think I'm going to get a new computer, not soon. Probably when they announce and like release the new 2021 version because I've been waiting for Apple to come out with a really, really good computer with all the ports. They got rid of all of the ports and you have to like buy an adapter. I don't wanna do that. I love my computer. If I could just like make my computer more advanced software wise, it would just be amazing because my computer's so old. I got it in 2014 because my other 2012 one, I think like crapped out. Look how cute it is. This is like such a tiny little box. I do want a 16 inch computer. I have a 13 inch, I think right now. And I just really, really want a larger screen and stuff. My computer right now needs to have iOS like 10.16 and it's only running 10.13. So I cannot get certain apps and I cannot update apps. Like my Final Cut Pro 10 or whatever is on a version like two things behind. That's another reason why Valerie got a new iPhone because our software is just so old. And I really tried updating that computer to like the 16, the 10.16 version but unfortunately the darn thing doesn't have enough space so I have so many apps and like iTunes like backups and stuff on that computer there's not enough room for the new operating system to like download onto that I don't know it's a whole thing but anyway yeah I knew this day was gonna come but on the right side Sherry doesn't have like a computer and stuff so that one is just gonna go to her when I get the new one so back on topic, let's open up my little magic mouse. It's so cute. Like the box is adorable. Oh, bam, there it is, there it is. Oh my gosh, it smells like new Apple product. I know that's super random. So that's the new mouse. Just gonna take it out. It's so pretty, it's so light. Oh, I love Apple products. Such a nerd when it comes to that. Okay, that's the little thing that it was sitting in. I wonder if it comes with Apple stickers. I don't think so. Oh, here's the charger. I do know that it needs to be like charged and it is the USB. They probably will come out with one with the USB-C. As for the mouse right now, I guess it's just looks like that. I hope they don't come out with a new mouse because then I've just like, you know, gotten an older version, but that's okay. I really do need a new mouse. So yeah, this is just the instruction booklets. So I don't get any Apple stickers, that's so sad. Okay, this is a little off topic, but this stuff right here, Lifesaver. This is not sponsored at all and this is super random, but I thought I would mention it in a vlog because this really works, guys. I spilled my mocha latte shake on this like white shirt. You've probably already seen it, but it is just like a white shirt. And you guys know the mocha latte Adkin shakes. They're like dark milk chocolatey. I spilled it like right on my chest area. Immediately took off the shirt, sprayed it, left it on there for a couple minutes then I like rinsed it out and then sprayed this and like scrubbed it a little more the shirt looks brand new like I'm not joking anyway let me show you guys my old mouse and I wonder if this thing will like connect automatically to my computer so this is the mouse I've been working with and I got this on Amazon I think I mean it does have the Apple right there as you guys can see it's like right there and I mean this is like really fun mouse and I really love the rolly ball that's the reason why like I wanted it it's so fun to like roll but the thing gets like stuck. I don't know. It's super weird. And this cord is just like a nuisance sometimes. So might as well get a little upgrade. And I guess we just like turn the thing on. Is it on? Oh, bam. Magic mouse to connect connected oh it's working guys as simple as that my magic mouse is all set up i'll probably have to set up the preferences i want this thing to scroll a little bit faster when i'm like moving it i don't know this is kind of weird i'll have to get used to it i'm just gonna move on to whatever i film next i don't really have anything else to share with you guys right now i just wanted to do that little unboxing because i love unboxing things on the channel okay so welcome to the second part of this video i am going to be cleaning cleaning out my closet, at least the part, the hanging part, as you guys can see, I use my closet as a lot of storage space. Like, don't ask me how I fit this entire hula hoop in there. I don't know. I just like put it in front of these two bins. 
so I like stick it here and then it just like fits but I have so much stuff we need to clean some of it out I think which is really funny because I literally only wear these two shirts like ever <laughs> I don't really like wear anything else I'm trying to like branch out and like wear this I don't know wear other stuff but I really need to get rid of some stuff because also guys do you like my hair I wanted to try a new like do. It's like a messy bun. I went on an online shopping spree and I spent like $300 on clothes from Aspen store Luca and Gray and I can't believe I did that like honestly I love getting like free clothes or like hand-me-downs I hate paying for clothes and I've always been this way there's just a lot of that stuff that is basically my parents bought me the clothes or like something I don't know I hate spending money on clothes for some weird reason but I'm like I just had something come over me yesterday and I was like I need to buy some clothes and might as well support like a youtuber I like watching and stuff and even though I know that she's like already a millionaire and everything it probably doesn't need that at least I'm not like going to like a big like a big brand box chain store I guess I don't know I'm trying to like justify something in my head I'm excited to get those pieces and that just like inspired me to try to like clean some stuff out. I already have something in the get rid of pile because I feel like this shirt just needs to go. Like I've had it for so long. Well, not so long, but probably like three years. I wear a lot of the same clothes as you guys see. Yeah, I'm just going to get started cleaning this out. Enjoy the time lapse. I won't get probably to like these bins down here. I might try to go through some of the pants and stuff, but I don't know. Before we get started on cleaning, here's Valerie. Want to say hi? Hi. Yeah, she also got us some yummy corn yes, for tonight. I have, to, I have to call students. Okay, she has to call students. Bye, Valerie. Bye. Okay, so this is the big pile of clothes that I'm going to part with. I'm probably just going to donate them. I also wanted to add, I hate these types of hangers that are like curved because if all of your hangers are not curved like this, it makes your closet like crazy. Like, look at this. It's so, it's just like curved. I don't know, it's a bit of an issue. So I have all of my like pants stuff kind of like hanging um, closer to this side because I need to get in this drawer for my pants and stuff. Um, and then down there's like underwear and bras and stuff. Over here I have jackets and robes and stuff. And then here are dresses so it goes like summer and then into winter. And then we have the bodysuits and then two piece sets. 
Then we have like bottoms, which I still need to put the shorts like in certain places and then the pants, still need to organize that. I have my um, hangers here. I have my loungewear. I normally always wear like long sleeves and like um, sweaters. So I have my little Pasheen, the celebration sweater that Sherry gave me, Vineyard Vines, Disney Spirit Jersey, um, this cute sweater. I love this sweater so much. Um, and then I have this long sleeve blouse that was given to me. And then I have this little mustard shirt. Then I have my little crop top, this one t-shirt. I'm trying to stay away from like t-shirts because they're just not cute. I know that sounds kind of superficial. And then I have these tops, like cami tops. I have black and white just because they're like, I don't know, I feel like you should always have at least those in your closet. And then they're like basics. And then I have this shirt. I was kind of contemplating on getting rid of it, but I just decided to keep it. I have these two shirts are like a little bit fancier. I really like those actually. Then I have my workout top. I don't know why I'm keeping this here. I might put it in my workout stuff down here. I have like all my workout stuff. I also cleaned cleaned up here. I have my Abby Way, I think that's Abby Lane uh, sweatshirt. I really, I don't even know why I decided to get this. That, that was a bad decision on my part, but I can't get rid of it because I just got it for Christmas. Um, and then I have my red sweater. Then I have this fun burgundy sweater, which I have a love-hate relationship with. It does not keep me warm and it doesn't like to fold or anything. So I don't know, but I like it too much to part with it. Then I have my pink shirt there. It cannot stay on a hanger, so I just decided to put it there. Then I have my puffy sleeved gray shirt, which I really like, but it can't be hung either because it just like stretches out. I have my little cashmere sweater there, and then like a sweater dress here. And all of this stuff is my decorations um, for my room, and then yearbooks, another yearbook, and photos. And then all up there is just storage that we have no space for. Also over here, I have all of my work outfits, like my style, for work in an office and stuff is completely different from my personal style. So like these things I don't really wear except for these black and white shirts. Like I would wear those and I would wear this shirt. This is a cute, really cute shirt. But other than that, like this Hawaiian thing was for an event, but I could wear it to work with like black dress pants. So I just decided to keep it. Yeah, I just put that there because we're not in the office and everything. So I am ready to receive some new clothes. Got a lot of dresses and like rompers and stuff. Yeah, that's what my closet's looking like. I didn't go through shoes, but I don't have that many. Yeah, it's not necessarily the way I would love for it to be organized, but as you can see on the bottom here, I need to have like the long dresses and stuff over here where they can like hang like all the way down. Um, here I need the shorter stuff because I need to get to my shoes. I need to be able to open this drawer and I'll have to like tuck that up because I need to get to my pants and stuff so it's not like the most ideal but overall it's looking great and like there's a lot of clothes here that I will wear and I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. So here are the pieces I'm actually getting rid of. That, I think I painted in that. This is just a Victoria's Secret pink top that's like really thin. Like I don't, I don't know. I've had that since like 2015. These were given to me, but I don't really like the pattern. These shorts probably don't fit me if I'm being honest. These I've had forever and I love them, but they're like a little tight and I don't know. They're from American Apparel. I've had these since like basically middle high school. They are Aeropostale, I think. I got them with a gift card. Yeah, I can't believe I've had those for so long. And then I have these shorts and I have these leggings that are like super old. Lily Pulitzer shorts, never really wear those. Merry Christmas bitches shirt. Uh, I really only got that to wear this past Christmas. This is my Victoria's Secret pink thing. I've had that for like so long. This is just like really not my style anymore, I don't think. This um, I've like actually never worn but it's really thin and I've just never worn it because I think I'm gonna become exposed. Haven't worn this in forever. This top, my boobs like pop out of it, so. And I can't really wear a bra because it ties in the front, so it just looks weird. This shirt shrunk in the dryer and it was like never the same and I think I overwore that. I overwear a lot of stuff. Um, This I've had for a while, just gonna get rid of it. These are Victoria's Secret's pink leggings and these are leaving. I really like these, but honestly I have so many pairs of leggings and I've had them for so long. These shorts, had these forever, wore them a lot. These leggings, honestly maybe I should keep these, but the belt is just like, this is just like not as comfortable as my other one, so I'm just 
I'm gonna get rid of them. These are some Lily Pulitzer shorts. I think I'm gonna get rid of those. This was hand-me-down from my cousin. Um, just had those things for a while. Wore them a lot. Wore this a lot. I should actually keep that, but like, I don't know. I have other stuff. Got this pretty recently, but it's kind of see-through and I kind of just noticed that and I don't like it. Um, had this forever. Kind of just like a basic thing. Overalls, this actually does not fit my hips anymore. This had for so long, need something new, and I have a lot of new pieces. This, I'm obsessed with, okay, guys? Like, I wear this still to this day so much, but I feel like it's getting overworn, obviously, and there's a hole starting in the pocket. I don't know if you can tell, but she's just been worn out. This, I've had forever, and it's so cute. I love it. It's just getting kind of worn out. This is just a black t-shirt. I don't even know why I have that. This, I really like this, and I love, it's like you could dress stuff up or down, but you can't like tuck it in and it's super awkward so when I wear it I have to like flip it inside out. I don't know just the make of it is kind of weird. I had a really hard time parting with this because I love this but it has like a stain in the front like right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah there you go. I got this in LA when I went at the Juicy Couture on Rodeo Drive. I love it but I just it's just taking room in my closet and I can't have that right now. Um and then we have the shirt that I already showed you, overwore that. And then this jean jacket. I got this as a hand-me-down as well. And it's kind of tight on me. Like, I think my shoulders are just too broad for it. Then I have a couple belts that I'm getting rid of. Because I just really don't need them. I don't even know where this came from. So definitely getting rid of it. This one's kind of cute. But like, I have a Gucci belt. So like, I really don't need that one. Again, with the same with this belt. Like, I'm not going to wear these. Because like, my parents paid like a lot of money for that other belt. So I'm just not going to wear those and then this belt is just I don't really want it so that is the haul of things I'm getting rid of So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!